What's happening guys, Mike Androla here, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about technique and also about coming in this weekend and trying out maybe the class I have the microphone on so you can hopefully hear me better. Um, when you're throwing your techniques, it's important to stay loose and relaxed. And you, we discussed this yesterday's video. If you stay loose and relaxed, you'll be able to absorb information a lot better. So whatever you do, try to get loose and relaxed before you do it. So. Um, some people use a trick where they'll snap their fingers once to clear their mind and then snap the finger again and you're all of a sudden focused on a series of images. I'll use it before class. I'll snap it, clear my mind no matter what happened during the day. I try to completely erase those thoughts and feelings and snap my fingers again and then I see myself projecting a great class, um, me smiling, shaking hands, having a good time, people loving it. And that way I'm setting myself up for success because then my brain will just follow that pattern and your brain is much like that. It's just like a computer. When you set a goal, you'll be able to obtain that goal because your brain is fo forced to think about events and it'll get you there quicker. It's not a guarantee, of course, you need to take action. But if you can't even imagine a goal, if you can't imagine that you're going to lose 100 pounds or you're going to lose 50 pounds or you're going to get abs or you're going to succeed in this way or if it, and it'll work in reverse if you're imagining you're always going to be 100 pounds overweight or you'll never get abs or you'll always fail you'll constantly constantly you're, you'll just follow that pattern there needs to be something new something to stop it and the best way to stop it is a physical jolt through the system jump up stand up in a different way stand up nice and tall keep your abs tight chin up change your, your posture, your physiology, and then you'll actually, you'll actually start changing the way you feel, and then you'll start changing events that are, are affecting you in life. It's, it's simple, it seems ridiculous, but if you are waking up and you feel depressed and uh, terrible, you need to shake it out and say, listen, I, th this is my life, I, I only have a limited amount of days here, life is short, take your, yourself, shake it out, do something to snap yourself out and then envision yourself succeeding or taking the first step or pushing just a little bit harder today or, or doing whatever you need to do. Most people know exactly what they need to do. They just don't do it because it's scary or it's unsure. And what's the worst thing you can do? You can either not do it and you'll be in the same situation you're currently in or you can do it, fail, and you'll still be in the same situation you're currently in or maybe you can do it and succeed and start to build up little successes. Me, in the beginning, I was focused on little tiny successes. I could, uh, when say I was extremely young and I started throwing strikes, I just worked my jab. That's all, I just wanted to get my jab down. And finally then I, my cross came. And same thing with eating. I would try to just eat correct for one day. And then the second day came and just little successes build up to big successes. So if that's the message I can leave with you today is, have little successes in your life. Envision the outcome that you want and try to snap your body out of it. Try to adjust your physiology, do something different, and think a little bit different. If you need any help, guys, you know where to find me. Go to cktrainer.com. Besides that, if you really want to shake things up, we got Reboot Camp Retreat. It's in February. We have six people coming. I believe we'll have a total of maybe eight. We have 10 spots available, so if you want to come, you have the means to come. Of course, it's it costs money to travel, um, but it also is an investment in yourself. You're not just going on a booze cruise. You're working on your mind, your body, and your spirit, and those are three things my father told me. If you have all of those in line, you help, you'll have everything. Don't look at it as a vacation. Look at it as an education because you will learn more about yourself in four days at Reboot Camp than you have for the last four years. Because you will be focused in on your body, your mind, will take out all the external inputs, will control everything that comes into your mind. Just taking a medium fast for four days is uh, fantastic. If you can't do it, you can always follow us. Um, you can always do it next time. You can do it uh, in a couple of years, hopefully. But if you have the means, come join us. Besides that, Later, guys, you know my schedule this weekend, 8.15, 9.30, doing a special testing my new material class out at 8.15 on Sunday. 
uh, you should be a little more advanced if you're coming to it, if you're a CKO member, and then 9.30 regular class. So have a great weekend, charge it up. Remember what I said, change your physiology, right? Change your mental focus, whatever your goal is, whatever your outcome is, and uh, just enjoy your life. Later.